Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to manage secrets in Azure Container Apps. There are two ways using which you can manage the secrets in Azure Container Apps. First one is create the secrets directly in ACA, which is Azure Container Apps, or reference the Azure Key Vault secrets in ACA. And now to use those secrets in the containers, there are two ways. First one is using the environment variables. And second one is using the volume mounts. So in this lab, I'll show all these options using the step-by-step -step deployment. Let's start with the deployment plan. So first I'm going to create a Python Flask web application in VS Code. And once that is done, I'll use the Docker to build the Docker image. And later, push that Docker image into the ACR, which is Azure Container Registry. And one thing which I forgot to mention, in this Flask application, I'm going to use the secrets which will provide using the environment variables. So once the repository is created in ACR, we'll create the Azure Container app using that image. Later, I'll create an Azure Key Vault and, and then create a secret in it. Because we are going to use both the options, so one secret will be created in Azure Key Vault, another one will be created directly in Azure Container Apps. And then both these secrets will be referenced using the environment variables. And to show the another method to use the secrets in the container, I'll create the volume mounts in the container for the secrets and then test all the secrets in our application. So let me show you all the steps in the lab now. First, I'll show the Python web application which will be used in this lab. So there is a folder which I have created in my desktop, which is Key Vault. And I have created one app. It's a Python Flask application where it's using Flask and then getting the secret from the environment variables. So we need to create two secrets in environment variables using the name secret1, secret2. And then if HTML web page is created where there will be buttons to show the secrets. When we'll click on secret one, it will show the secret one values. And if we'll click on secret two, it will show the secret two values. And because this Python application will be running in Azure Container Apps, so we have allowed the ingress on port 80. Now to create a Docker image of it, I have created a Docker file where I'm using the slim Python working directory slash app. It's copying all the files into the container, installing the flask and just running the Python application. So now next thing you have to do is connect AZ account where you have to log into your subscription. I have already done. So I'll just quickly show. Get AZ context. So it's showing my subscription. And once you're logged in into Active Directory and can view your subscription, then you have to log in into Azure Container Registry, which you have created. So I'll quickly show you the Azure Container Registry. Container Registry. So there is a container registry with the name Shalender YouTube Lab 01. And there are a few repositories already there, but we'll create a new one. So let's log into this container app using the command line. AZ ACR login name is Shalanda YouTube Lab 01 ACR.io. So using this command, now I'm logged in into ACR from here. So if I want to push the image using the Docker, it will be directly pushed. So first what I have to do is because I have a Python file, I have a Docker file. So let's build the Docker image. Docker build. Let's name it as Flask Secrets app and build it here itself. So it will build the image. So it's running all the steps which are defined in the Docker file. It's installing the Flask. And the image is built. Now Let's tag this image, docker tag. So we are naming it as Flask Secrets app and the version will be v1. So that will be the tag. And now we have to directly push into our container registry. Docker push v1. So we are pushing this image into the container registry. So 
So image is pushed now. So let's go to Azure Container Registry, refresh, and we can see there is new repository created with the name Flask Secrets app, and there is a version V1 which we have just tagged. So the image is now created. So the next step will be create an Azure Container app. Let's go to Container Apps and create a new one. I'll create the new resource group here, RG Secrets ACA. Let's name this application as Web App 001. It'll use the container image because I don't have a workload environment already. So it'll create a new one and this workload environment consumption based. Now let's choose the registry. This is the container registry, which we have already created. Select the image flash secrets app version is V1. And we are not providing any environment variables for now. We'll provide it later. We are not creating any bindings, but we have to enable ingress so that we can access this application from our desktop. We went create. It's validating now and it's validated. Let's create. So the deployment has started now and timing. Let's create a key vault service. Look for key vault. Create a new one. I'll use the same resource group RG secrets ACA. Let's name it as shell in the secret AV001. I'll choose the region Australia East. Pricing tier is standard is fine. Not making any other changes. Role based access control, networking open to everything. So I'm not providing any security changes. I'll just create this key vault. Create. Now I'll pause the video and we'll be back once both the deployments are done. Both the deployments are done now. Let's first go to Azure Container Apps. An application URL is available from where we can access our Python application. Let's go to revisions and replicas. And it's running now. Let's go to overview, click on application URL. And this is a sample page where there are two secrets which are involved, secret one and secret two. If I'll click on secret one, it's not showing anything because it's not referencing. And same with the secret two. And the reason is because we haven't created secret one and secret two environment variables. So let's go to settings and in the secrets and create the first secret. which is secret one. And there are two options now, either create the container app secret directly or reference it from the Azure key vault. So what I'm going to do is create the secret directly. This is a ACA secret. So I've given that value add. Now this secret is created. However, you can check value here if you have appropriate permissions. So this is ACA secret. Now before we reference the secret from the key vault, let's check the key vault and create a secret there. Key vault. Shalinda secret key vault is created. And if we'll go to secrets, I'll not be able to view the secrets. So first I have to assign permissions to me. I am add role assignment. So 
So look for key vault secret officer. Secret officer can perform all the actions for the secrets of the key vault. So I'll provide my details here, my username. Select, review and assign and assign. So role is assigned now. So if I'll go to secrets, there is no secret, but I'm not getting an error that I'm not authorized to view the secrets. Let's create a secret. Secret to let's provide the value as this. This is a key vault secret and create. And if I'll show the secret value, this is a key vault secret. So now we have created two secrets, one in ACA directly and another one in key vault. So let's go back to our Azure container apps. And now to reference the secret, first Azure container app should have permission over the key vault secrets. And for that, I'm going to use the manage identity. Let's go to identity. Let's enable system assigned managed identity on. So when you enable the system assigned managed identity in the backend, it creates a service principle in the enter ID, which is in app registrations. And the object ID or the principal ID is thus. So now I'll provide the role assignment. Let's go to role assignment, add role assignment. This is for key vault. And this is our key vault and the role will be key vault user, key vault secret user so that it can fetch the secrets from the key vault. Save. And now this role is assigned and soon ACA should be able to fetch or reference the secrets from the key vault. So now let's go back to secrets, add another one which is secret to key vault reference. For some reason, it's not showing the system assigned manage identity. Let's refresh it quickly. So let's start again, add a secret, secret to key vault reference. And this time it's not giving an error. System assigned manage identity. And now we have to provide the key vault secret URL. <clears throat> Let's open Azure portal in another tab. Go to key vault. And go to secrets. Click on the secret which you have created. Current version. And you can copy the secret identifier from here. Copy this, paste it here and add. So secret two is also created now. Now we have created two secrets here, one directly into ACA, another one, which is referencing the value from Azure key vault. Now to use these secrets, we need environment variables. Let's go back to our application. Click on containers and now we have to edit and deploy. Click on the container. So it's choosing the same image flash secrets app version V1. Now what we have to do is we have to add the environment variables. So let's first secret one. Source will be reference secret, which is secret one. Another one, secret two. Reference secret and it will be secret two. So secret one is directly from ACA, secret two is from Azure Key Vault and save it. And once I'll create it, a new revision will be created. 
and the older one will be decommissioned. So if we'll go to revisions, it's activating the new one. Let's refresh it. So you can see now the new revision is running and another one is getting deprovisioned. So let's go to overview, click on application URL. And let's check secret one. Perfect. Now it's getting the secret. This is the ACA secret, which is directly from ACA. And if you'll click on secret two, this is a key vault secret. So that means both the secrets either from ACA or from Azure key vault are being referenced using the environment variables. And now there is another way. If you want to use the secrets directly into your container. So you can use the volume mounts. Let me quickly show you that. We'll go to our web application, go to container, edit and deploy, go to containers. We are not going to make changes here in the environment variables or the details. So let's directly go to volume mounts and create a volume. So let's first use the secret and name it as my secrets and it will mount all the secrets Add, and the mount path will be MNT secrets. You can give it anything in the mount MNT, which is the mount for the Linux and I'm giving it as secrets, save and create. So it's deploying a new revision. If I'll go to revisions, the new one will be activated and the old one will be deprovisioned. So now you can see the new version is running and the old version is getting deprovisioned. So let's click on overview and cross whether our application is running fine or not. Yep. It's getting both the secrets. So now go to the monitoring. And in the monitoring, go to console and we are going to log in into our container. So this is our container, which is running. So let's log in into it, connect to it using the bin sh. So I'm connected to the container now. If I'll run print environment, it shows all the environment variables. But now we have mounted the secrets into slash MNT secrets. So go to slash MNT which is the mount point. There is a secrets folder secrets. And if you'll see here, there will be two files with the name secret one and secret two. Let's cat these files. And you can see this is a ACA secret and same for the another one secret two. And this is a key vault secret. So now if you want to use these secrets into the container for running some application or some connectivity, then you can use the volume mounts. So to summarize this video, we have created two different types of secrets. One is directly into Azure container apps. And the second secret was referenced from Azure key vault. And both of these secrets can be used by the container, either using the environment variables or using the volume mounts. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.